Eating healthy fat can help you improve your insulin sensitivity, lose weight, decrease inflammation, and even reduce the risk of heart disease. But just eating any type of fat is not the way to get a lean muscular physique. If you're serious about eating a high fat diet like keto, or if you just want to incorporate more fats into your diet, the majority of the fats you should eat should come from natural sources that promote good health and as a side effect help you lose body fat rather than gain it. To help you pick the best fats to incorporate into your diet, I wanna go over the top eight healthy fats to add into your meal plan. First up, I wanna start with one that many people overlook, dark chocolate. 65% of the calories in dark chocolate come from fat, but more importantly, the cacao in the chocolate contains between 300 and 400 health-promoting nutrients. This coupled with a lower carb count is why you should always aim for 85% dark chocolate or higher. Now, don't get me wrong, you can't eat all the dark chocolate you want. You will also have to limit yourself to only a couple squares per day to get the health benefits without messing up your diet. Among those benefits are extremely powerful antioxidants called polyphenols. A one and a half ounce piece of dark chocolate will give you as many polyphenols as a five ounce glass of red wine. One of these polyphenols called epicatechin has been found to help prevent heart disease and diabetes. Dark chocolate also contains flavonoids which have the power to fight off a number of diseases. They can also help prevent inflammation, ward off viruses, and fight cancer causing carcinogens. Dark chocolate is also very good for your heart. It's been shown in studies to increase blood flow and prevent clotting. There is also evidence that eating two to three small servings of dark chocolate per week can help prevent hardening of the arteries. And not only is it good for your heart, but it's been shown to be good for your brain as well. It boosts the blood flow, which supplies more nutrients and oxygen to your brain cells. It also contains 27 milligrams of caffeine in a one and a half ounce serving, as well as theobromine, and both of them act as a mild stimulant to help you concentrate and focus. Next up is the avocado. Avocados are very high in healthy mono unsaturated fats, which are fats that actually help lower cholesterol. They also have more fiber and more protein than any other fruit, and they're very high in beta cytosterol, which is a nutrient that reduces the amount of cholesterol that we absorb from food. So they help us absorb less cholesterol while containing zero cholesterol themselves. As far as vitamins, they're very high in vitamin E, which is another powerful antioxidant and they also have plenty of B vitamins, including folate, which has been shown to lower dangerous homocysteine levels in the blood. Homocysteine is an amino acid that you get mostly from eating meat. When you have high levels of it in your blood, you're more likely to develop heart disease. Let's move on to coconut oil. Coconut oil comes from the meat and kernel of the coconut. Most of that oil is fat, and the majority of those fats are medium chain fatty acids, or MCFAs. MCFAs are very small and can easily be broken down and converted into energy. Unlike glucose, they won't increase insulin levels. They also go directly to the liver to be converted into energy, and then they enter into the bloodstream, which is what allows them to provide fast available energy. Aside from the benefits you'll get from medium chain fatty acids, a key compound in coconut oil is lauric acid, which has powerful antimicrobial qualities that strengthen your immune system. Lauric acid also strengthens arteries while helping to lower blood pressure. On top of all of that, coconut oil is also very effective at lowering inflammation and boosting the metabolism. Our next awesome healthy source of fat is salmon. This fatty fish is a great source of protein and it's also very high in omega-3 fatty acids. We need omega-3s to improve insulin sensitivity, boost the metabolism, increase our energy levels, help us build more muscle, and especially maintain a balanced ratio with omega-6 fatty acids. To combat heart disease, we wanna aim for under a four to one ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s. Ideally, we wanna get closer and closer to a one to one ratio. Eskimos eat so much omega-3s that they have a one to four ratio. One study of the Inuit Eskimo people people set out to find why they had such low levels of heart disease compared to people in the Western world. The study found that as the amount of salmon in the diet increases, the level of heart disease decreases. Omega-3 fatty acids can also decrease the stickiness of blood platelets. This makes them less likely to form into blood clots. Another beneficial heart effect is that omega-3 fatty acids reduce artery wall inflammation. According to one
one study, people who consumed fatty fish at least once per month had a lowered risk of having a stroke. On top of all of these health benefits, they could also help you feel fuller. In one particular study, people who consumed omega-3 rich foods felt fuller for longer, which made them eat fewer calories over the course of the day. A final benefit of salmon is that it's able to suppress the secretion of cortisol, which is the body's stress hormone. When choosing salmon, make sure you go for wild caught as it has the optimal balance of omega-3s and it's much healthier than farm-raised. Next up, we've got nuts. Now, even though nuts are packed with healthy fats and they can be a fantastic choice when you're reaching for a snack, eating too many nuts, just like chocolate, can slow fat loss and contribute to weight gain. But as long as you only have about a handful per day, nuts can provide a ton of benefits for your health and your body. For example, almonds have been shown to help lower the risk of colon cancer and eating any kind of nut can help reduce the risk of heart disease. If that's not impressive enough, scientists believe that getting into the habit of eating nuts every single day can reduce the risk of death by up to 20%. Since they're a plant-based source of protein, nuts can give you a bunch of the amino acids you need without any cholesterol, and they can actually even help lower LDL, which is the bad type of cholesterol. They're also a great source of magnesium and B vitamins, including riboflavin and niacin. Nuts are also another very good source of omega-3 fatty acids, and we want to get all the omega threes we can because it's chronically undersupplied by the Western diet. Like I said, ideally we want to aim for a one to one ratio, but most Americans are getting a 16 to one ratio, which can explain why we have such a high incidence of heart disease. Lastly, even though some nuts are higher in carbs than others, they're also packed with fiber. Fiber slows down digestion and the absorption of carbs, allowing for a more controlled gradual rise in blood sugar levels. However, if you're on a low carb, high fat diet like keto, the best types of nuts are brazil, macadamia nuts, and pecans. Moving on, we have flax seeds, which are one of the best plant-based sources of omega-3 fatty acids. They're also full of fiber, protein, as well as a number of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin E, vitamin B, zinc, iron, copper, magnesium, nickel, calcium, and many other essential minerals. Now, even though flax seeds are great for you, you shouldn't have more than three tablespoons of flaxseed twice a day, or you can run into some digestion problems. Also, as with many other healthy sources of fat on the list, eating too much flaxseed can lead to weight gain. The last thing that I want to mention is that if you're buying ground flax seeds, you shouldn't buy too much ground flax seeds at the same time because they expire a lot faster than if they were whole. Next up are eggs. Eggs used to be condemned because they're high in cholesterol, but recent studies have revealed that the cholesterol that's found in eggs does not increase the risk of heart disease. On top of that, there were a number of studies that compared groups of people eating one to three eggs per day to another group that ate none. And the groups that ate the eggs increased their good HDL cholesterol while the bad LDL cholesterol either remained the same or went up slightly, but as large LDL particles, not small. People that mostly have large LDL particles have a lower risk of heart disease. With the cholesterol problem out of the way, we can appreciate the high nutrient density of eggs. They're packed with vitamins and minerals that contain antioxidants and improve brain function thanks to the choline they contain. Eggs are also very filling due to their high protein content. One study showed that people who replace a grain-based breakfast with eggs end up eating fewer calories over the course of the day. Eggs are also a great source of lutein, which is what gives the egg yolk its yellow color and it happens to be very good for your eyes. Eggs actually have twice the amount of lutein as spinach, which is the second highest source under eggs. Next is olive oil. This is a monounsaturated fat that's packed with natural antioxidants that can help fight viruses. It also contains a compound known as allurepian, which has been shown to prevent the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. This is the process that leads to atherosclerosis, or the hardening of the arteries. On top of that, one of the most exciting areas of research regarding olive oil has to do with cancer. It helps prevent neoplasms, which are new abnormal growths on cells that can lead to cancerous cell growth. One particular study identified a compound in extra virgin olive oil called oleocanthal. This compound reacts with the lysosomes in cancerous cells where the waste is stored. It ruptures these lysosomes, causing cell death within 30 minutes to an hour while leaving uncancerous cells unharmed. Olive oil has also been shown to help protect against breast and prostate cancer and even prevent blood clotting, making it a defense against stroke and heart attack. The last thing that I want to mention is that eating olive oil helps to keep your cell membranes fluid so that they're more able to take in nutrients and remove waste. When choosing which 
type to buy, the best type of olive oil is extra virgin, which is pressed without using heat or chemicals, and it's collected from the first pressing of the olives. Our last healthy fat is cheese. If you're on a keto diet, you'll already be eating a bunch of different types of cheeses, but there are ways to incorporate cheese into most diet plans, even if you're not on a keto diet and your goal is weight loss. Swiss cheese, cottage cheese, feta, Parmesan, and part skim mozzarella all have really good protein to fat ratios. Most people don't know that cheese is great for your teeth because it's high in calcium and very low in lactose. This high calcium level makes cheese an excellent defender against osteoporosis as well. On top of the high calcium, it's also high in vitamin B, which is also very important for a number of things, including bone strength. Another great thing about cheese is that it's high in protein, helping you hit your protein targets for the day and helping you build muscle. A 100 gram or three and a half ounce serving provides you with between eight to 24 grams of protein, depending on the type of cheese. That protein is mostly casein, which provides a slower release of amino acids into the bloodstream. This is the opposite of whey protein, which digests quickly and gets right into the bloodstream. For this reason, some bodybuilders will eat something like low fat cottage cheese at night before they go to bed as the amino acids will release slowly while they sleep, helping them repair their body and recover faster and helping them boost their metabolism. While you can definitely do this with cottage cheese, remember that most cheeses are high in fat and calories. So like many of the other healthy fats I mentioned today, you have to make sure that you're eating a sensible amount per day if you wanna incorporate it into a weight loss plan. So there you have it, eight sources of healthy fat that you could incorporate into your diet. I really hope this video has helped you out. If it has, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I release more free tips and tricks, just like the ones that you found in this video. Also, if you're looking for a done for you program that helps you plan exactly what to eat on a daily basis to lose a lot of weight and body fat over the next six weeks without having to go through years of trial and error, check out my six week challenge. Clients of mine that have already been through the program have lost an average of either 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in only six weeks. With this challenge, you'll get a customized meal plan, a progressive 42 day workout plan designed to burn fat fast and an accountability coach to help guide you through the entire process. And what's really unique about our challenge is that as long as you complete the challenge without cheating and without quitting, you can have the whole course and all the materials for free. To find out more, click the link below in the description or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.